Hey everyone, David here. So, as of now, there is no one in the house, and I'm bored out of my mind. So, I've decided to just put on my headset and start talking. For anyone curious about the music in the background, it's from a Japanese doujin group known as Felt. I absolutely love the music. Each of the songs seems to take me on some kind of journey, which have all been unique. In other news, I recently graduated high school and am now moving on to university, which made me sort of think back on my past. So, in this video, I would like to simply look back 4 years to the beginning of my high school life and just step forward from there. As we all know, a proper story is supposed to start from the very beginning. So I'm going to start not from the very beginning of grade 9, but the tail end of grade 8. During that time, I tried hard to get people to sort of like me, since in elementary school, I didn't have too many people that appreciated my presence. All of that made me feel quite out of sync with myself, and over the summer break of grade 8, I became more introverted and didn't talk as much. Maybe it was my mind telling me to just shut up and live and let live. Anyways, grade 9 rolls along, and at the beginning I was quite bewildered by the amount of people in the school, as were many other grade 9 students. But after a few days, I became accustomed to my new school life and began making some new friends as well as connecting with old ones from elementary school. It was also a year where I made many mistakes and tried to act cocky in order to stand out, which obviously ended horribly. I wasn't acting too outlandish, but one of my older brother's friends, who was called Warren, said that he feared for me and my future whilst we were sitting in a hotel room near an anime convention. While at the time I thought he was just being condescending and rather jocund in his tone, I realized much later that it was probably a good idea that he told me. Overall, grade 9 was a great year as I was able to meet tons of new people and reconnect with old acquaintances who I would be with for the coming years. Next up was grade 10 which seemed very similar to grade 9 and is, in my opinion, the prime time for high school students. It was really more of the same as the workload was still relative to grade 9 and I still had the freedom to do lots of things with friends. For me, grade 10 was the year where I tried to decide what I wanted to do in the future. I wanted to be a dentist, but later on I realized that it wouldn't really work out. But I'll get into that later. One notable part of grade 10, at least in Ontario, was the OSSLT, or the Ontario Secondary School Literacy Test. It was rather simple, and I aced it without even thinking much. In short, grade 10 was another great year of high school where I began to learn a little bit about myself. Now, grade 11 was the year where things began to get much harder. The level of difficulty in the course content was a rather stark spike upwards, and it was a sign that students should sit down, shut up, and do the work. At this point in time, most grade 11 students began to think about their future and how they could work towards their goals. It was a time where students had to utilize time management and organization to the fullest, and I'm pretty sure saying that just made a bunch of younger viewers just roll their eyes out of their head. Anyways, the second semester, I was taking Computer Science 11, which I found to be rather exciting. Not only was I good at it, I also loved how I was able to render my imagination onto a computer using code. At that point, I realized that being a dentist was probably not the best for me, so I decided to become a game developer, and since then, it has stuck with me. Overall, grade 11 was a great year, despite it being a little bit more difficult. It was a year where I began to mature a bit more, and I actually found out what I really wanted to do, which was being a game developer. Ah yes, grade 12, the year where you give it your all academically in first semester midterms since universities look at those marks and judge you accordingly when they're choosing which program to put you into. Grade 12 was the year where students began to apply to universities and colleges in the hopes that they would be accepted into that sweet program they saw. Some managed to make it to their desired program while others didn't, and I happened to be one of those people that didn't make it. At first I was really disappointed because I was honestly working quite hard during the first semester and I thought I had it in the bag. That disappointment didn't do to my favors for me, as it caused three of my friends to cut ties with me, which in my opinion, that wasn't entirely my fault, but that's a whole different story for another time. After a while, I accepted that I didn't get into the program that I wanted to get into, and I took the second best thing, which actually wasn't that bad. An important lesson I took from my grade 12 year was to not take academics too seriously. Of course, still aim high, but don't let it go to your head. Anyways, after first semester midterms, things were very lax, and I was free once again. I was able to hang out with friends or work on personal projects. One big thing about grade 12 is indeed prom, which I didn't go to. I didn't feel it was worth the $90, which I could have spent on a fractal design to find S, which I never got because it was $110 Canadian rather than $89.99 in the US because exchange rates. Overall, grade 12 was a very intense year with a lot of academic action, but it managed to work out in the end and was honestly the pinnacle of my high school experience. 
So after all that came graduation, the final summer of my high school year, and here I am now, talking to my computer screen about my high school life. There was some stuff that I did leave out, such as how each year I went to Anime North and Anime Convention, which I did allude to in my grade 9 year, and also how I went and became the president of my school's Japanese Arts Club, which really wasn't an impressive feat. It was really just an anime club, if anything. Even then, the Japanese Arts Club was still a great place to hang out with me and my buddies. We really just sit down, chill, play some video games, and talk to each other and argue about anime sometimes. As of now, high school had to be one of the finest years of my life so far. I met a lot of people and I learned a lot about myself. Most of the friends I made in high school still remain as my friends to this very day. Honestly, I wish I could go back in time and relive those moments one last time as those days held a lot of great memories. Tomorrow is my first university lecture and the first step into a brave new world. Anyways, I would like to thank you for watching me and listening to me talk mainly about myself. I probably should have included some more general advice about high school or something, but hey, it could be another video idea. But anyways, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.